Who are you and what do you represent? Hello, I'm Patrick Owens and I'm producer at Fractal Fox. And what is Fractal Fox? Fractal Fox is a little mobile game studio that's based out of Dallas-Fort Worth. And tell me about that company. So it, we started it about 2008 in order to provide a like studio and place for people who want to get into the game industry who don't have much experience so they can, animators, programmers, developers, they could join the team and work on some games and get a few portfolio pieces and use it as a launch pad in order to get into the like larger studios that they're trying to achieve. Okay, and uh, talk about some of the games that you've developed over uh, Fractal Fox. So the first game we ever made was Greeble, which was a launch title for the iPhone. And then we made a few more mobile apps from there. Then we made some educational games for children. And recently, our two most recent games was Brain and Zombie, which was a pinball a action puzzle game. And now we're working on Greeble 2, which is the sequel to the first game we ever made. And when is that coming out? Um, that'll be out this summer. Okay. Um, and uh, what are the challenges of uh, being an indie game developer, specifically for the mobile space? Um, getting noticed is probably the most the most difficult thing, and that's because you can't you just can't put a game out there and just say like, yeah, it's on the store done. You have to put effort into like reaching out to your audience, discovering your audience, figuring out how best to communicate with them. And it's definitely an achievable thing, so it just requires time and effort that a lot of startups may not have, since a lot of their resources are poured towards actually making product. Now, where do you personally see the uh, mobile space going? Because it's had its ups and downs with like fantastic ideas brought into just a iPad or iPhone device, but at the same time, there's plenty of like uh, Super Mario Brothers ripoffs or games that were made in two seconds that kind of just get shoved out the door and uh, people buy them. Like, do you, how do you, where do you see the market going for the mobile space? So, both Apple and Google are increasing their quality standards from what I've noticed. So, and more premium apps are doing well. So, they're curating their app stores a lot better. And so, picking out like applications that are really special and could provide a good experience to the player. And so over time, I feel like we're going to begin to see less shovelware. It'll probably always be there to some degree, but as the, both app stores and the curators of them choose more premium products and shift the spotlight towards them as opposed to what necessarily would just make them the most money, then I feel like we'll, we'll come out of this little like dark age that we might some think we're in right now. What are your thoughts on the Unity engine? Um, so far, it's been a wonderful engine to work with. So, as far, especially for startups or anyone wanting to get involved in the industry or pick up and make their first game, it's a wonderful product. So, there's lots of online tutorials for getting started. There's the Unity Asset Store for people who say you're a developer and you don't have much art skill, or say you're an artist and don't have much development skill, or just any craft, you can go to the Unity Asset Store and find like little bits and pieces in order to help get your like prototype further along than you may have without it. Do you feel like you want to stay with the mobile space forever? Um, forever strictly mobile space? No. Because there's a lot of opportunities for bringing games to different people outside of that space. So like the console and the desktop game have a very strong audience and they're very passionate about their craft, the craft and the products that are brought to them. And so I would love to dabble in that and bring experiences to people in that area as well. Now I know you haven't explored Steam yet, but there has been a uh, new feature that Steam added, allowing you to uh, have a refund for any game that you dislike or that doesn't work. Like, what do you feel about the refunds? Like, is it a good or bad thing? Um, I feel like it's a good thing as far as consumer responsibility goes. So from my experience on the App Store, every App Store I've published to offers similar um, customer treatment and it hasn't been a problem for us. So the rules that uh, Valve have put together, uh, you know, you must have less, if I'm not mistaken, it's like you must have less than two hours of gameplay or had it for four, or 14 days, whichever one comes first. 
that's that's rather reasonable. And so there, because recently there have been some games where they've put a lot of their effort into the media coverage, and the game wasn't necessarily as it was promised, and some customers felt hurt by that. And this is an opportunity for develop. It encourages developers to be more responsible and put out more premium products because they can't trick people into buying a game that may not be what it claims. Yeah, and uh, I, one concern I've uh, noticed that uh, the uh, what, what if the game is actually just an hour long? Like, and my response to that is... That is it, a good point. Yeah, my response to that is, well, if it's a great game that's an hour long, wouldn't you, like, want to continue playing it? Like, Astro Breed, for example, it's only an hour and a half, yet it's so good, or at least to me it is, that uh, I want to keep playing it. Yeah. Uh, so what do you think about that sort of concern? So that, based off even what you said of like, well the game's only an hour, but I'm going to keep replaying it, and like that itself helps alleviate part of that, but there still is the possibility of some games that focus very strongly on a short but powerful experience, and I think humans as a species, like we actually are good at heart. And so if you have that experience and you really do like it, then you're, I don't see people turning around and going, well, refund, I really like that, but refund. So yeah. I don't uh, think, I don't, I'm personally not worried about that. So uh, now on to the future, because that is something that any developer, any creative of mine would think about as they're working on the present. Mm -hmm. um, where do you see mobile gaming going in the future? So I th still feel like premium products are going to begin to become like the norm of the store, especially on iOS. And the as far as the experiences themselves, developers are finally understanding like the platform and its audience and getting a sense of like what the native expectations are. And so I feel like the focus is going to become very strong on creating short, digestible experiences that are shareable with others. The last thing, uh, where can we find Fractal Fox at and of course your games? So you can find out all about us at FractalFox.com and all of our games are available in the App Store and will soon be available, our full product library will soon be available on uh, the Humble Bundle Store, Amazon App Store, and Windows Store. Alright, that'll be it.